one accord. Let's reach out to the Lord right now. Don't miss your blessing right now. Hallelujah. The presence of God is here in this place. All you got to do is tap in right now, right now. All you got to do is tap in. Recognize his presence in relation to where you are right now. Recognize he's here. He's right there. He's within your reach. Jesus said, knock. He said, knock. I'm here to tell you that your worship right now is a knock on the door to God. But if you don't knock, he won't answer. We've got a knock, church. I've got to get in your presence. I've got to get in your presence today. I didn't come just to hang out. I didn't come just to fellowship. I didn't come just to eat. Hallelujah. I came to be in your presence, God. That's it, that's it. That's it. Sometimes we just gotta reach out. Sometimes we gotta just submit. Shiabahasa. Hondo Bosha. I believe the Lord's telling me right now, don't hold back at all right now. Don't hold back at all. Don't hold back at all. You have liberty. It won't be weird. It won't be strange. Just cry out. Open up. Let him pour in. Oh, no. That's it, sister. That's it. That's it. Break. Break. Let him break you right now. That's it. He's here. He's here. Tap in. Tap in right now. That's it. It's building. It's building. It's building.
church there are those being revived right now people are changing people are receiving power people are receiving something in God right now oh Jesus oh we thank you we love you we give you praise Jesus we give you praise This is yours anytime. This is yours anytime. God is always near. He's in everywhere. God, you always have access to his power. This is heaven, church. doing this in heaven church oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh why don't we get our practice right now somebody get their practice oh. get your practice on heaven right now <laughs> I don't know where we're going so I gotta have some heaven right here I need some heaven on earth to get me through to get me by oh, yes <laughs> <laughs> Praise you, Praise you, Jesus. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Come here. Come here. Right now. Right now. The Lord, come here. Right now. All the way up. Yes, you right now. The Lord just spoke to me right now. Come on. Oh, God is here. We're in the presence of the Most High God. We're in the presence of power. Yeah. This is where things happen. This is where things happen. Come on, right here, right here, right here. I want you to raise your hands and close your eyes.
I'm here to tell you, she just got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm here to tell you, she has felt the power of God. <laughs> Aren't you glad that a God knows your name in the middle of all this? God said, go get her right now because he knew you were ready. I'm talking about you. He said, go, go get her. That's what he said. This is your baby right here. This is what you're going to get. Your life, your power. That's what God is for. Somebody shout on to the Lord. Ha! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I'm going to tell you what just happened is Bible. Let me tell you how. The Bible says the shepherd only one was gone. And he left the 90 and 9 to go get that one. That one. He left the 90 and 9 to go get that one. Yes, That's what kind of merciful God we have that knows you. <laughs> and he knows when you're ready. He knows. He knew she was ready. <laughs> Church, I'm going to tell you something. She wasn't tearing. She wasn't crying. But she was standing there and a sign, and I didn't see it, but it was what it felt like. A sign said, I'm ready. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know if she had the Holy Ghost or not. God just said, go get her. She's ready. Ah! Oh! What I want you to do from now on. <laughs> That's revival. That's where revival comes from. That's revival. The church becomes alive when someone and a life is changed. <laughs> Praise God. But I'm going to tell you what I want you to do when this happens. See, when a woman like her is going through that, she's getting the sign. God snatching her up saying, it's time. What I want the church to do, and most of you are doing this, but I want this to happen consistently, is for you to remember when that was you. Oh. Ah. I want you to remember when that was you, that when God called you and brought you to a place where you already received the <laughs> baptism of the Holy Ghost. That You know what that's called? It's called getting the Holy Ghost all over again. Because if you'll remember... When I come to church, I come to church to get the Holy Ghost. When I go to conferences, I'm like, I'm going to get the Holy Ghost tonight. My daughters, I got the Holy Ghost again today, Daddy. Come on, come on, church. Come on, church. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Announcements. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I'm telling you, church, it's not even over. That's the fun part. Because God has a message for the rest of us. God's got a message for us today. I can't wait to get to it. I want to apologize. I plan to do choir today, which I think would be great uh, because we love our choir and, and we love how it expresses the Spirit of God in this church. Uh, but let me just tell you why we haven't had choir for a while. It's because of that. You see that DVD sign right there? See that? That should say, uh, uh, what's the name of it? It should, it should say IBC choir, but it just says nothing because it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is either get me a new DVD drive or, yes. Oh, okay. Praise God. Uh, new DVD drive or buy a new computer, one or the other, because I would like to get... But isn't it awesome that we can have this kind of revival even without our choir? Yes. Even without the, the great power that our choir comes... Is that on? Just leave it on. Leave it on. Never mind. <laughs> 